So today's video um, is just a demonstration of a product that I use during the summertime. It has absolutely nothing to do with the overall project because the product that I'm wearing right now, my day seven hair, is a part of that project. I'm sharing this here on YouTube because I am back. Hi everyone, this is Abena. I'd like to thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel, Embrace Natural Beauty, where it has been my goal to share with you simple tips and techniques that have been helpful to me in my very own natural hair journey that has been nine years now, that have helped me to maintain my hair, to keep it in good condition, and to retain length, which was always my goal, because I want all of you who watch and who follow me to better maintain your hair, to keep it in good condition, and to retain length if that happens to be your goal so that you enjoy your hair and embrace natural beauty of your own. In today's video, I had the pleasure of sharing with you um, not necessarily a review, but I am going to give you a demonstration of a product that I used during the summertime. And uh, I'm doing this because if you have been following my stories and if you've seen my last couple of videos, my most recent videos, I did share that I am doing a project where I am looking at different products that I want to bring into my salon to use with my clients for styling. I already have what I use for cleansing and conditioning and for treatments. This is just the styling component. And there are several products that, are, that I'm looking at that meet a certain criteria. And I've also shared that previously, or some of it previously. So today's video um, is just a demonstration of a product that I use during the summertime. It has absolutely nothing to do with the overall project because the product that I'm wearing right now, my day seven hair, is a part of that project. So let me back it up just in case you're not fully familiar with what I'm talking about. This is day seven hair using a product that I'm trying out. And when I try a product um, that I know, first of all, I'm trying it because it meets a certain criteria, meaning that it's going to have a level of integrity that I expect it to, to bring. And so if it doesn't work out on the first try, I'm not going to discontinue, you know, trying the product or, or, or just, you know, throw it to the wayside. I literally made this purchase to try this product because I believe it has a certain level of expectation. And so with the first couple of tries now, this is the second wash and go I've done with this product, I'm just trying it different ways until I get the results that I'm looking for. And it's still not what I'm wanting. So that's why I'm not doing a demo on this. So I've not actually achieved the look that I'm going for with this product just yet. It's not a complete fail, it's just you all know. You all who have watched the stories, you know I had to do a refresh and it's a little bit flatter than what I wanted and I experienced some flaking and yada yada. I'm going to talk about all of that when I share in total <laughs> what I did with this product when I talk about the product specifically. But for now, um, you know, I'm sharing this here on YouTube because I am back. You know, I don't want to come on here and, and like everyone's welcoming me back, which I really appreciate. Thank you so much. It's nice to be back and then disappear while I'm working on these here, you know, wash and go with the, these different products. So even if it's not working out, this is what I typically do. But in the background, if I have content from previous wash day experiences where it was a nice outcome, I'm happy to share it with you all. So that's what happened with Texture ID. I did have a really good outcome with it. It's just not a particular product that I'm looking to share with my salon because I didn't buy it for the salon. I just bought it because, okay, this is how I bought it. I was in Sally's one day. This was over a year ago. I bought this product over a year ago, and this is how I am. If I actually want to try a product or if a product catches my attention, I may make that purchase. But unless I really have a strong desire to use that product, it may just sit there. So Texture ID happens to be one of those products that I purchased well over a year ago. I was in Sally's one day, and you know how you're at the checkout counter and they have these products that are near the cashier for impulsive purchases, like the one I did? And I was wearing my hair curly, and the cashier was like, 
hey, you wear curly. Have you ever tried Texture ID? And then guess what I found out when I was doing, preparing this video? Because I wasn't paying attention to it at the time when I even styled my hair with it. But Sally's is probably the manufacturer of this product or had something to do with the producers of this product like in conjunction with them or sponsor in some type of way because their name is literally on the label. It is a Sally's product. And she's at the cashier desk talking about, have you tried Texture ID? So you know they were telling them, make sure you see those curly girls, make sure you tell them about Texture ID. So they got me. And I purchased it over a year ago. Didn't have a strong desire to use it immediately. And I, when I bought it, I was like, I remember when you buy something from Sally's, you have like 60 days to try it. And if you don't like it, you can bring it back, get your money back. And that's what she said to me. She said, you have nothing to lose. If you don't like it, you can just bring it back within 60 days. But I forgot about it. And I wasn't anxious to use it within the first 60 days. So yeah, over a year went by. We were out of the quarantine. I was washing my hair with, I was styling my hair in a wash and go again. So I said, yeah, let me go ahead and try this texture ID. And it turned out I had a good experience. I really, I got a full week out of it. Um, it was a really nice wash and go. So I'm sharing that with you. In, well, in the meantime, you know what I'm working on, trying to get uh, good results with this product so I can also share it with you. But if I have other wash and go demonstrations that I can share with you that were good outcomes, I will be sharing those in, the, in between while working on these different products that meet the criteria that I'm looking for for styling for my salon, for my clients. So that's the background behind this and that's why I chose Texture ID for today. This is the Texture ID styling cream, and it says it can be applied on. Um, I read it with my glasses before. Now I'm going to try and do it again. So it can be applied to damp or wet hair or something like that. I can't read it; it's too small. I didn't bring the glasses. I already read it. Before. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. My first time using the product it has not been used. But I've had it for a good while. I've never opened it. Very thick. It's like okay. So I'm gonna drop some of it for. Look like it needs to be mixed inside the jar. I'll do the emulsifying in my hands. I can actually see the coconut oil separated from the rest of the cream. Since I mentioned coconut oil, let me read what it says on the label. This ultra rich whipped cream is enhanced with coconut oil, cocoa butter, shea butter, and wheat protein. I'm going to mix it because the coconut oil, you can see it like, looks like it had separated and then became solid. Even though the product highlights coconut oil and shea butter as key ingredients, coconut oil is listed as the fourth most concentrated and shea butter is the second to the last ingredient listed on the label. It so, has a decent fragrance to it. Um, to me, I find it pleasant. It's light. Definitely has a, a fragrance. And if you recognize uh, the way that coconut oil smells, it's definitely in there, but it's not a heavy scent. And so I've allowed this to play pretty much in real time. So you can see this is the product application. This is me applying it to my hair prior to uh, putting it into three separate twists in order to make it easier for me for the styling. This is the way that I apply product to my hair. I do it in the shower. Um, on soaking wet hair if necessary, but you'll see in other applications, it's not always soaking wet, but I still do it in the shower. This is just convenient for me for how to handle my hair on wash day. And I'm also showing you just how much product I actually did apply before putting the hair into separate twists in order to prepare for the styling component. So I'm just 
like to make sure I'm getting good coverage before it starts to get um, drier. I mean, it's still going to be damp, but the low porosity here is definitely not going to dry. I did not take any time to define the curls before putting them into the twist. Just making sure I have enough product on it completely um, saturated my hair <laughs> with this product before twisting it up. With the right side completely in three separate twists, I clip it up and put it away so that I can concentrate on the left side. The amount that I applied on the left side, it seems like I did more in the beginning. It seemed about the same because it is pretty much the same amount of hair. Um, I started in the low porosity section because that's the part that gets really dry very quickly. So I make sure that it has, you know, the moisture in it immediately uh, following rinsing out the water. So I'm concentrating that. That's the low porosity section. And then I'll move to the rest of the hair for that whole left side of my head. And the amount that I'm applying, you can see it's pretty heavy amounts. The product is fairly thick, but it feels very light and fluffy. And as I put it on, uh, again, I'm just making sure I've got full coverage. But on this here left side, you may notice I do have my special areas in the front, which I have on both sides anyway. It seems like I'm moving so much quicker on the left side, but that is because I'm no longer trying to read any of the label. I'm just getting through this mostly smoothing, but I'm also doing some raking. I'm not trying to define the curls. Again, I'm just making sure I've got full coverage and I am applying a hefty amount of product. I think I may be going a little heavier on this side. I don't know if that's the case, but I think so. And just as I did with the right side of my head, I'm putting the left side in three separate twists in preparation for the styling after I take my shower. And if you'll notice that big twist in the front, it has a lot of cream right at the top. So that is an indication that I went really heavy with the product application, which was fine because as you'll see later, I'm going to need to add more anyway. And so I have a total of six twists and I'm going to take a shower, come back. It is now 30 minutes later and I'm going to start on the left side, which is going to serve as the model for applying product on the right side. Now, if you recall, the left side is the side that I did last when I was in the shower. So it has a heavy amount of product already on the hair. So what I'm doing right now is I, I took the hair out of the twist and I'm just raking and smoothing to define the curls. I did not need to add any more or any additional product. On the right side, which has been twisted up longer, I'm noticing that the hair still feels fairly damp, but I do feel the need to add some more product in order to get some good definition. So I, I selected a little bit more than I intended to. I didn't think I needed that much, but um, that's the amount that came out. So I went ahead and applied it first to the root because that's where it can get really puffy and I want to make sure it lays down really well. And uh, because I added more product, I went ahead and did the rake and smooth to get that distribution and to get that definition that I needed. After defining the right side, I noticed in comparison that the left side was a little uh, fluffier or it looked a little puffy. So I redid the left side to lay it down to match the right side. And that's what I did back and forth. I kept checking um, to make sure it was balanced on either the left or the right side. Where I had to add more product was definitely on the right side because it wasn't as heavy an application initially as the left side was. But then also whenever working in the low porosity section, I noticed that I do tend to add more product to get more of the hair to lay down to get more shine, to get it to feel 
a uh, softer variety of reasons, but definitely the low porosity section that I'm working in right now needed more work, needed more product, and definitely needed more raking and smoothing. I'm also showing you the size of the uh, sections that I'm working in. So I'm showing you the product application as well as the size. Now these slices right here, this is fairly thin. So even though I started off with three big twists, I do work in subsections within those three sections. And though it is just one product that I'm applying to my hair for this wash and go, I still did small sections, worked it through to get that definition. And I really like the definition that I got right here. So again, this is the left side, um, which is the side that already had a good amount of product on it. So it felt like it was heavy enough, but I added some more product just to get um, more slip with it when I did the raking and smoothing. But it came out so good that I said, oh, I wanna duplicate this on the other side. After achieving such good clumping on the left side, I went back and checked the right side to see if it was pretty much balanced and it wasn't, it looked a little fluffier. So I worked a little bit more on this side to get it to match the uh, left side. I added, first I started by adding more water. And when I added the water, I noticed it gave me the weight and the slip that I needed. So I didn't actually need to add any more product. And with this small subsection, I really just added product to help me spread through, but you do see I'm adding it to the low porosity section, so it's always it's always good to add a little bit more product with the low porosity section so that I can lay it down because it can get really puffy in the roots. As I separated this twist and prepared to spray some water to it, I was thinking to myself, maybe I need to do the other side first because the other side doesn't have as much product on it, but because the left side has so much product already on it, it would serve as the model for the other side. And also, again, I have to address the puffy roots. The way that I decided to do this one section right here, you see how I'd use it into two sections? That's a pretty large section to do um, because that's a lot of hair. I really would have done better, I think, to have done more rows. I could have gotten more definition, but that's the way I did it. Uh, and it worked out okay, it wasn't an issue. But when I got to the right side, I did do it more strategically. It, it worked out well. I had to really lay it down, but I would have gotten better definition had I made even more rows, maybe four parts, but I only did it in two large parts. The goal here was to make sure that the the side of, of the curls laid flat against the side of my head. So that way I would not have puffy roots. See, instead of four curls, that should be eight curls. Now that the model side is completed, I can concentrate on duplicating the look on this side in terms of the moist appearance, the hold, shine, and frizz control. Product application tends to get better with practice, and so my practice was on uh, one side, and now I'm going to perfect it on the other side. The sections I'm working in are definitely smaller. I've added the water, I worked it through, now I'm adding the product, of course, directly to the roots first so they're not puffy, and I just, you know, repeat over and over again but this is the side where I really took to smaller sections so I can get better definition. By slicing smaller and smaller pieces, raking, definitely getting curl definition there and smoothing of course as well. <laughs> yeah, just more, just smaller sections. And this is how I achieved better definition on the right side than I did on the left side. So you can see once I'm done, you'll see the, the left side looks a little puffier. Now, one of the nice things I liked about this product was that you see the towel that's in my hand, I just wipe my hand on a towel. And then after that, I could touch anything. I didn't have to worry about my hands being sticky. I didn't actually have to wash my hands. Um, I mean, eventually I did, but I didn't have to in order to touch anything else. 
And uh, this is my finished look before going under the dryer. And now my hair is fully dry. I sat under the hooded dryer for about an hour. Uh, I usually wear a hair net under the dryer to keep my hair from blowing too much. And so I just shook it out from that hold and putting it back in place as I touch the hair. It really feels good. Um, I'm noticing, of course, the definition, uh, the fullness, and how soft it is. I'm really impressed. I didn't really know what to expect with Texture ID using just one product, so I was really happy with it. Today is day seven of this wash and go that I styled with Texture ID by itself. Um, it, it does give me a nice uh, wash and go curl definition and so forth. Uh, it definitely expands, gets really big, and um, yeah, it held, it held well enough. I did have some areas where I started to see some frizziness, but they're not unusual areas. They're like the usual suspects. Uh, that was the only thing. Now, being that this is day seven, uh, it doesn't have much shine, which is okay, but it does feel dry in here. Started to feel, I guess, my scalp started to get itchy and it started to get um, really uh, froey. It's really froey in here right now, especially since I was scratching. Yeah, it doesn't feel very moist. So whether or not this is something I could use, yes it is. It does give some good shine in the earlier part of the week. Um, it is summertime, so it is hazy, hot, and humid. That's about it, but it, it will probably be a great product for the winter time. Yeah. By this time, I have had several weeks with a product that I want to share with you all as well as how it fits in with what I'm using in the salon with my clients. I'm editing when my salon schedule permits, so please have your notifications turned on so you know when the video is uploaded. Thank you for watching.